So where employment law fits in with this is more about the mediation between a um, company and uh, its employees. So um, employment law aims to set out some rules and regulations which both parties need to cooperate and abide by in order to ensure a fair and um, an auditable and um, thorough relationship between between employee and employer. We are we're actually um, really really lucky as a as a country to have such regulations in place. Um, with as many other countries where there are not there are not such generous legislations legislation and pieces of um, law in place to protect employees and employers. Um, for example, America, you know, there, there's lots of things that can happen in the, in the, and that do happen in America that would seem very unfair um, to the employment relationships that we like to, we like to maintain here. So um, we are very lucky, believe it or not, even though it does, it does provide for lots and lots of work that has to be done um, to make sure things are done properly. So this is, um, the next one up would be European Court. And, yeah. and that, yeah, that would be what has, what's, come in since us being part of the EU and there will certainly be aspects of legislation which I'll come on to in a little while or well, next slide um, that actually will be questionable once Brexit occurs but I think I think I think we'll see much less change than we think will will change to be honest There's not much can change for, for good reason so this is the this is the path that appeals would follow um, and, and disputes between employees and employers would follow. Goes to employment tribunal. Decision is made. And if the decision is a is appealed, it goes to employment appeal tribunal. If then again, a decision either cannot be made or a decision is made and it's appealed, it goes to the court of appeal. Um, same again, it would then go to the Supreme Court. So, obviously, the higher we get through this, the more it costs, and usually it's at the at the cost of the of the the party looking to dispute. So, if if it's if it's an employee looking to appeal and looking to dispute an outcome or decision, um, they're the ones that will be asked held to provide this cost throughout. And therefore, usually, is stopped from from doing so. Usually, because funds don't allow for it. But it's not unheard of that people would. Um, so that's the path that it would follow. Um, mm, quite often, it would get here and stop. But if it got here, you'd expect that usually legislation is going to change if it if it was if it was heard at court at supreme court and um was was found to be you know just then um you would bet you would bet that legislation would change based on that because that's ultimately what what governs how we do things in hr but really simple there's not a lot else really to say on say on that because until you start looking at cases you then, you know, you, you, there's then not much more to understand about it. Um, and I would say there isn't a great deal of rhyme or reason from how things would go from one stage to the next or whether they would be allowed to go from one stage to the next. Usually it, it just is if there's funds there to, to provide and, and there's, there's, there's grounds for appeal, it would just go to the next stage.